Hey, we're over at Chicago State University for an open house this afternoon, having an opportunity to actually walk the campus and talk to some of the, the faculty and students. We're sitting today with the director of public relations for Chicago State University, Mr. Thomas Wogan. He's agreed to uh, talk with us, and we've got just a few questions, and we're looking forward to some great answers to help us to appreciate what's going on over at Chicago State University. Tom, thank you for joining us here on the World of Soul Motorcycle Community Radio Show. Happy to do it, and thanks for coming to Chicago State. What's going on here today? Well, we're having one of our first open houses in some time. Uh, we hadn't had one in the past couple of years, so today's Columbus Day, which is a day that a lot of uh, a lot of uh, high schools have the day off, so it gives us an opportunity to have, we have over 500 prospective students, um, mostly Chicago public school students, also some charter schools, some other, uh, some other private schools, and they are here today to uh, take a tour of the campus, uh, meet some of our professors, some of our, our world-class professors uh, in a variety of areas. These are mostly juniors and seniors, and they are uh, getting ready to uh, matriculate and come out of high school, and we are first and foremost hoping to uh, 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 help them um, make the decision that college is the right is the right move for them, and secondary to that, uh, hopefully uh, uh, give them an opportunity to see the many very good academic programs we have to offer, uh, see that this campus is a fun place to be, and uh, hopefully maybe convince them to uh, consider Chicago State uh, when they graduate either this year or next. What unique opportunities lie here at Chicago State University in the comparison to other options that are available? Well, we, uh, we, 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 there's many unique aspects of this campus, uh, both for first-year students coming out of high school and also for um, older students or adult students, students who are um, uh, looking to uh, improve their lot and, and get more education. Uh, we, we offer extremely strong programs in, in the areas we call STEM. STEM is an acronym that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And those skills are among the most marketable uh, that, you can, that you can have coming out of, uh, uh, out of college. Uh, we take a, a great deal of pride in being an extremely diverse institution. Um, we are we are the leading institution in, in providing, uh, provide, uh, of having uh, students who graduate, uh, African-American students who, who graduate in degrees. Illinois, Illinois, Chicago State is the leading university uh, in that category. Uh, we also offer extremely uh, competitive nursing, uh, pharmacy, other medical programs. Um, our, our College of Art and Sciences uh, we, uh, has over 38 uh, 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 bachelor degree programs. Um, so we have a, wide, a, a very wide variety. Uh, one of the more unique aspects of an education at Chicago State and why it's valuable. Um, unlike many other public institutions that have very, very large teacher to student ratios, uh, where you have maybe 90, 100, uh, 500 kids in a class, the average student, st uh, student to teacher ratio at Chicago State is 15 to 1. So kids that come to Chicago State not only are getting taught by world class faculty with real life experience, uh, but they're also going to get individual attention from their professors. They're going to they're, 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 they're going to get an education experience uh, that is more hands-on and, uh, uh, quite frankly, more valuable than what you're going to find at some other institutions. Sounds good. Where is Chicago State as it relates to uh, enrollment? Where is it trending? Uh, our enrollment is, uh, uh, like many universities, dealing with with, with, with slight drops in enrollment. Uh, our enrollment did uh, did dip a little bit this year, which is pretty consistent with all other public institutions. And what do you attribute that to? Uh, attribute to a number of things. Uh, first off, uh, the the economy is hard out there for a lot of people, and uh, it's it, you know it's a difficult uh, it's a difficult environment to to afford being able to get the financial aid, get the money that you need to to attend college. We do a, a great deal, not only in terms of merit scholarships and other scholarship opportunities. We really try to expand our scholarship opportunities to help people afford uh, education, but higher education is expensive. Um, there have been a number of changes in terms of uh, from the federal government level in terms of, of, of loans, uh, ability to get financial aid through Pell loans, through summer parent plus loans, things like that, um, that quite frankly, unfortunately, uh, have made it more difficult for people to afford college. Funding at the government level for just basic infrastructure for state colleges uh, as a whole, uh, what's happening? Are there any unique issues that... Uh, the public should be aware of that Chicago might be facing? Well, uh, I, th I think anyone who pays any attention to uh, state and federal government right now knows, especially state government, which is where uh, money for public institutions comes from, knows that um, it's it's uh, it's uh, a difficult economic situation for the entire state. That being said, we were fortunate enough uh, to get, to have our funding uh, st ma maintain at level. We were not reduced at all. So what that does allow us to do is allows us to, to continually uh, and consistently offer good programs here. Um, well, it's, uh, it's a, a a struggle for all public institutions, education or otherwise. Um, it's uh, it's uh, 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 the type of thing that um, we are 
we're managing internally, and students who come here uh, can be comforted in knowing that the that the programs that they go into are going to be fully funded, and that they're going to have uh, good, 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 well-paid professors who are who are you know very good faculty, and um, you know economic uh, uh, difficulties aside, we're onward and upward here, and we're still providing uh, an excellent education for our students. President Obama has made some commitments to the African American community as it relates to education. In fact. Uh, July the 26th, he signed an executive order entitled Educational Excellence for African Americans. And just a couple of weeks ago, I had the privilege of running into Chicago State University's President Wayne Watson at the uh, White House Summit on Historically Black Colleges and Universities in Washington, D.C. As it relates to the federal level, do you have any, um, any anticipated uh, goals and aspirations as it relates to the connectivity that could be made locally uh, from the federal level that impacts uh, young people here in Chicago State? Yeah, two things in particular. Uh, the first is we are very aggressively, and this is in, in line with those uh, science technology uh, uh, programs that we are looking to uh, uh, strengthen and increase. We are looking to uh, very aggressively in, uh, strengthen our international presence. Uh, in that in that uh, uh, vein, we are working um, currently uh, in the next uh, two weeks, we're going to have visitors from a, uh, a very large technical university in India that we are engaged in a partnership with. Now, that's under a program called Obama Singh. Obama Singh is a, 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 a partnership between India and, and the United States. It's really seeking to have a, a sharing of a sharing of students and information about about this. You know, the, the technology world is a global marketplace, and it's it's, it's increasingly global marketplace. And what we want is students in Chicago State to really have uh, the, the the type of worldly education that's going to allow them to be competitive in that very global marketplace. And so we're working under uh, uh, to to, to uh, obtain a grant under Obama Singh. We're actually going to be hopefully finalizing the details of that of that grant initiative uh, over the next couple of weeks, and the hope is is uh, we're going to have students coming here from India, and also be sending students from Chicago State over to India in a, in a sharing and partnership of students. Uh, uh, what that also opens the door to is uh, uh, exchanging faculty knowledge. Obviously, um, India is a very a very emerging uh, part of the emerging world in technology, and so it's going to give it gives Chicago State access to those brains, access to those to those uh, uh, those those professors. And those faculty, and then it'll, what, what that ultimately do is make Chicago State a stronger technolo uh, a technological based school uh, moving forward. Second thing I would offer you is uh, we are. Um, when, when, as, as it says, this, because, because you mentioned President Obama, we have formed a committee to uh, 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 be, try to be competitive in, in, in getting the uh, Obama Presidential Library uh, here on Chicago State's campus. Awesome. That's going to be a competitive uh, thing. We know that it's uh, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot. There's a lot of other uh, schools, a lot of other states, a lot of other uh, areas that are also going to make their pitch. But we believe um, we've got uh, a gem here in Chicago State that maybe a lot of people, uh, even sometimes in our own city, don't know about, and it gives us an opportunity to really showcase. Is what's going on on this campus? As you see going around you today, uh, this is a, this is an active place. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of exciting things happening here, and this is the, this is the community where, Chicago, where, where Barack Obama began his community organization career. Right across the street. Right across the street. So we think we've got some historical uh, precedents that we can appeal to, so that when uh, when Barack and Michelle Obama make that, what, what what is a very personal decision as to where they're going to place their library, that they consider uh, Chicago State as a possible location. And speaking of President Obama, who was a community organizer, let's talk about the community for a second. A lot of the students of Chicago State, I would. Soon come from Chicago. Is that Absolutely. Right? Uh, we uh, th there was a report out uh, w w with some critique about University of Illinois that uh, that their number of Illinois students has dropped to, to below seventy five percent. We're very proud to say ninety five percent of our students are Illinois based. The majority of them are Chicago based. We're very much uh, a school for, for for local residents of Chicago. We get to and we we serve and educate Ch uh, Chicago Illinois. Chicago Illinois first. Chicago's got some 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 really uh, amazing issues as it relates to. Uh, violence. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And um, we know that education is the fundamental thrust behind all human movement. What role do you see Chicago State uh, University uh, play as a uh, means to reverse those negative trends? I think there's a short-term and a long-term answer to that. I think the long-term the long -term answer is, uh, as you said, uh, education is the the uh, most uh, most obvious, but also one of the most difficult to obtain uh, solutions. People who get education have opportunity, they have hope, they have reasons to, to veer away. Now, obviously, to veer away from a life of violence. Now, obviously, that starts much earlier than college. That starts, uh, you know, we have we have many issues, but uh, we, as a, as a university that educates a lot of educators, educators 
educators, a lot of teachers, a lot of principals. Our School of Education, we're very proud of that. We, uh, by by uh, uh, producing more well, well-rounded, knowledgeable, not only knowledgeable in the book sense, but knowledgeable of the world around them and what these kids are facing when they go home every day, by producing teachers that have that knowledge, producing principals, guidance counselors that have that knowledge, we're putting minds into the Chicago public school system that ultimately, as as we go through year by year, is going to have a positive effect on, on youth. Um, obviously, that's a long-term answer. That doesn't solve anything overnight. A shorter-term answer that we are working on is something we are going to roll out uh, relatively soon. It's a big initiative of Dr. Watson's, something we call our Contiguous Community Program. It's still in the, in the, in the workshop right now. We're still making it. Repeat that again. So it's called Contiguous Community, and it's an initiative that's going to attempt to use the resources we have here in Chicago state, uh, the knowledge we have in social sciences, in psychology, and uh, in, in, the, in the many areas um, where uh, uh, the communities that are contiguous to us and around us are lacking. One of the things about our role in this community, and I've talked about this often, is we are one one part we are an education institution that is our main duty and our main goal. We're also very much uh, a community center for this area. This, the, these communities around here often do not have state-of-the-art facilities. They often do not have the types of, uh, the types of facilities necessary uh, to really do, uh, gather and do effective organizing, and really and really uh, uh, help help kids and affect change their minds. Uh, so what we want to do is really utilize our resources here, uh, uh, our, our education resources. Like I said, uh, within our, our really within every department of Chicago State University, there is some element of that that can be immediately beneficial to the contiguous community around it. So we want to use our faculty, our graduate students, and our undergraduate students, uh, not only to uh, use our contiguous communities as a breeding ground for education about these issues about violence, about poverty, about uh, something that might seem as simple as nutrition. You know, if you can't, if you're hungry, you're not learning very well in school, etc. So, um, you know, so uh, uh, we, we really definitely want to use uh, all of the, all of the resources, all of the, all of the, 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 the weapons at our disposal, for lack of a better term, to combat violence. And we have, as, as a thriving university, we have those resources and we, and, and we are, um, we, we are already engaging our, uh, in, in our, our immediate communities around us but we tend to ramp up that effort uh, in, a, in a more organized way in the months and year, and year to come. So we're talking about uh, community partnerships there. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, stronger community partnerships, uh, stepping outside of our normal box of academic community partnerships, and really putting the, the, the assets and resources we have here at Chicago State, really physically putting them out in the community, having our, our students really understand what's going on around them so that when our Chicago Public School teachers, graduate Chicago State University, go into the classroom, uh, they're already prepared for what's going on around them. They've already met these people. Uh, they've met their parents. They've met their relatives that are caring for them, and they and and they, they have a better and more and more and more well-rounded understanding of the world so that they can affect change. Very good. Uh, my hats off to Chicago State, uh, Dr. Wayne Watson, and now uh, Tom Wogan. It's really been a great pleasure to talk I to you about you coming out and uh, I, and for and for any of your listeners it's never too late to get a good education if you know and if you know of anyone who's uh, who's uh, either uh, coming out of high school into college or really at, 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 at any point in which they want to uh, learn and improve themselves come check out our campus people people who come here are constantly surprised at how how beautiful this place is and how much good things are happening here you can never have too much education so we're going to take the the campus tour today and maybe even enroll right. hey everybody chicago state university tom wogan thank you world of Boom.